I've thrown myself into a lot of religions over the course of this series. I've met Hindu gurus, Freemasons, Christian racialists, Jewish extremists, witch doctors, and then there were the ceremonies. I drank Native American peyote in Arizona, I meditated in a Japanese Buddhist zendo, I sculled mead in a Viking ceremony, I got a Muslim cleric to place a fatwa on a colleague, there was a chicken blood washing in Mozambique, wearing sacred Mormon undergarments in Salt Lake City, and of course the thing that shook me the most, the Papa Gede voodoo ceremony in Haiti, where a goat was sacrificed to venerate the head spirit of all the dead, Papa Gede. What I'm getting at is, if anyone's left themselves open to nasty stuff from the spirit realm entering their lives, it's probably me. I tell people there are really three critical things you need to know to get free from the devil. You need to know what legal rights are, and legal rights are how the devil gets in or how he gets access to attack your life, strongholds how he stays in, and curses. Oh, g'day, Bob. I'm John, how are you? Hi, John, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. And you guys have been to, uh, last I heard, was Haiti and Salt Lake City. Yeah, and L.A. And L.A. Oh, boy. In Africa, Mozambique. Well, you get all the demonic hotspots, so... Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Here we go. It's television like you've never seen before. Demons cast out in front of a live audience. These exorcisms that you're witnessing, these are real. This is a sweet, lovely Christian lady. Where did you, like, first find out about specifically about exorcism? I uh, traveled overseas, particularly in India and Asia and places like that, and I saw demonic possession. Like what, 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 well, what, I mean, what I mean, I mean they, would, they would flail about and foam at the mouth, and, and I saw this, and I thought, hmm, I wonder if that goes on in America. Because people would say that was, that's just like mental illness or something like that. Generally, you can tell the difference. If somebody comes up to me and says, I hear voices, one of my first questions is, have you had any mental health treatment? Yes, I was diagnosed schizophrenic. Well, stay on the drugs, keep staying your psychiatrist. You don't need an exorcism, most likely. Uh, we've been working with Bob's group for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. When I started seeing people manifest and, and screaming and demons coming out, I, I wondered maybe if I had some too. So. And, and did you? Um, yes, yes, I did. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was involved in some of the occult like hypnosis and Ouija board and things mm -hmm. like that that bring a curse into our life and yeah. demons. Uh, that spirit had a legal right to come within me. Because he I invited it. it into his soul. Not good. Don't do Ouija boards yeah. <laughs> have, have you or horoscopes. Ouija board, horoscopes, bad news. It's the occult. Right. That, I want to tell you, that is one of the neatest ladies in the world. Man, just a cool lady. That's John Major, Mr. Gorbachev. Yes. Bushes. That's Bush. I have never met anyone who impresses me more as a human being than Colin Powell. This is hell. A different thing on every letter. Yeah, yeah. The devil's a wimp. He's a chicken. He's a scary cat. He's so mean. He's gross and disgusting. Out of a nine-year-old. That's my, that's my child. You're going to have kids someday. <laughs> huh? Yes. And you're going to teach them the right things. For sure. Oh. The demonic realm attaches itself to the emotional hurt, rape, incest, uh, abuse, whatever it was that opened that door. There was a lot of um, abuse in my family and neglect. Had you tried to deal with, with it other ways before? Like, I don't know if you... I did go to a psychiatrist. And, and I it was didn't on, work? No, it didn't work. And I was on medication. It didn't work. I tried. I knew I needed something because of the pain in my heart and the addictions that I had in my life. I wanted to, I wanted to get rid of the addiction but it was attached to the pain of my heart. I recommend this for anyone to go through deliverance. Australia is very godless. But look at your heritage, all due respects. How did you people get started? Talk about ancestral issues. Because of all criminals and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean, you were a dumping ground for the rejects of society. I mean, I, that's not to put, put you down, but I mean, that's history. All right, here we go. So you, you think some Aboriginal ceremonies sh we should be wary of because... Um... Well, they're calling up demons. They are calling up demons. And they're getting possessed by those demons. 
Have you filled out your profile? No, no, no. I've got to, I've got to fill it out. When, when, when do you think is the best time to do that? Is that tomorrow? Do you tomorrow. Think? Okay. You need to fill it out and you need to be truthful. I've got to fill out this 20-page form now. I'm going to fill it out as honestly as possible so it works. It's just asking me questions like, have I ever been involved in Zen Buddhism, in ESP, in Tantric Yoga, Kabbalism, Rastafarianism, Hinduism? I'm going to fill it out as honestly as possible. Everything's going to be legit. He says I'm able to go through with it even though I'm Jewish. So um, hopefully it's going to work. Well, I hope it does. All right, let's take a look at what you've got in this uh, profile. Okay, now, um, well, we got a bunch of stuff here, don't we? Now, some of this stuff has obviously been for research purposes. Yes. What about Buddha, though? Well, kind of yes and no. I, I stayed at a Buddhist retreat in Japan, so I did participate. Did you do some meditation? Yeah, I did meditation. So you did meditation? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And the voodoo it was, it was research, too. But Again, it was participating, so... What did you do? You know, I was around when there was a goat sacrifice. Well, I, I held the rope of the goat, and the goat was... got its throat slit. You're, you're walking flypaper for demons. Mm -hmm. I was involved in a Day of the Dead celebration for the Viking religion, the Norse, the o o Odinism. Is that a problem? Oh, it's a big problem. Odin's a very powerful demon. And when I was in India, I worshipped a goddess. Kali? Uh, definitely Kali, but um, Ma goddess, goddess Ma? Uh, that, that's an issue. It's a big issue. It's all false gods. John, I'm not even a third of the way through this thing. Mm -hmm. You could have every demon on this planet inside you. Now, mind you, if you had gone out to do this with seriously malevolent intent, you'd be at greater risk. If you said, I'm going to the, you know, the the voodoo witch doctor because I want somebody killed because of whatever. Yeah, of course, you kind of did do that. Um, Islam. I was involved in Islamic ceremonies. Big problem. What's the problem? What is the problem? Who do, you, who do you think is compelling suicide bombers? Demons. Nice kids. With a hope of the future. Strap a bomb and go blow themselves up. Does that make sense? No. Demons. I was involved with the Mormons and... I got my hand on some of the undergarments and I wore them. That was not a smart thing to do, because those garments come with a curse. Oh man, I, I'm, 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 I'm blown away about how much of this comes back to your Jewishness. You are a picture of Israel. This is what Israel constantly did. They always drawn away by other nations to worship other gods. God called out a people to teach them about the one true God. And Satan kept trying to pull him off every time in another direction. That's what he's done with your whole life. The German thing is very definite. Why, why, how would that have an impact on me? Well, because your ancestors would have had some bitterness against God. And sometimes what we have to do is speak for our ancestors. Hi, John. Hi, John. <laughs> on behalf of my ancestors. On behalf of my ancestors. Forgive Hitler. Forgive Hitler. This is powerful stuff. Oh, man. <sighs> Until recently, you've had a relationship with a girl. Yes. This was a sexual relationship. Yes, or intimate, yes. You practiced fornication. Yes. This was serious. This was serious. You were in love with her. Yes. You had a good relationship with your parents? Yes, yes, yes. Really good.